are our cookies that we got from the cookie place in where we used to live a long time ago. And this bakery is just well known for their cookies and other baked goods. Mm -hmm. It's called the Cake Company. We just got an array and an assortment of different kinds. Aren't they pretty? Yum. Surprise for me too. your skin. This Thank you, Suzanne. And my skin stays so dry. It's got vitamin E and argon, almond and sunflower oils. This is a new discovery of ours. Oh, we so found good. out Soap and Glory is made in England. Uh -huh. Oh English my goodness. goodness. And so, oh we have gotten into it. It is so nice. And I use that on my, you know, like how I used to use L'Occitane. Yeah. You know how expensive L'Occitane is. This is just this good. This is good. How did you find out? Well, we've always seen it, but I've never really gotten into it. Well, Suzanne got into it, and oh. she had me get into it. And don't be despair. Oh don't gosh. be shocked by the color. That is the color that it is. Because we always thought it looked like it was old or something. No, that's the color. And it's hydrating too, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, Suzanne, thank you ever so much. You don't know how my skin is so dry all the time. You're welcome. Oh wow. Oh, Suzanne. And the lotion to make my skin soft. You don't know how much I appreciate this because my welcome. skin just stays like dry and it out. And it lasts forever. And you know, when it gets into fall, my skin is even more dry. In the winter, it's horrible. Oh, yeah. it's a good thing you just now gave this to me because in a month, I'll really be needing this. Thank you, Suzanne. You're welcome. Oh, wow. Rose Hip Seed. Oh, the oil, almond oil and vitamin E. Oh my. So we may be saying goodbye to Bath and Body. And having something that nourishes the skin. And it smells good. How in the world did you find out about this? You don't know? We've always seen mm -hmm. it, but I just never had paid that much attention. I mean, it's not like a hmm, fragrance, it's, it's gentle. Did you know I've never even seen it? And then, and it's, they've got now, we've discovered oh. sprays, uh -huh. foot cream, hand cream, body butter, that's in a, uh -huh. like that. Uh, what are some Thank other you. things? Said, body scrub. Yeah, I, I'm not crazy about the scrubs, but. And you found it first, Susan? Uh -huh. Oh my word, you know what everything need is. <laughs> yeah. And then you know quite a bit, and I know nothing. I'm gonna come give you a hug, thank you so much. Reckon we should take your sewing machine and maybe make some little bags for earrings that would entice somebody to maybe think that they were getting something so beautiful and might buy something else because of the presentation. I, I bought bags from, from uh, I'm trying to Amazon. reach down. You know, I have some more so bags. You, so you have these? Oh, okay. Oh my. Oh, how adorable. That is so beautiful, Laura. 
Oh, isn't that precious? You know how I love bracelets. And look at the little jewels on it. This one sparkles. How beautiful, and it's so bright, and isn't it? It's so precious, you mm. all. And look at the little heart. It's my bow up, and I don't know why. Oh my goodness. I forgot what this is. Oh, Laura. Oh my word. And I'll tell the story when it's when you finish. <laughs> oh my word, look at this. Aren't they adorable? Oh, how precious. Oh my goodness, and it matches the bracelet. How adorable. Isn't this precious? And it's silver and gold. Thank you so much. That is beautiful, Laura. It matches so, my blouse. So that. actually, at that time, what they were doing, if when you bought your, oh, your things. They, how precious. Look at all the compartments. That came with your, that was a gift with your purchase of jewelry. Oh, how adorable. And I can keep it in here. Thank you so much. Isn't that precious? Good evening, friends. Welcome to an evening vlog. I thought I would come on here and just kind of tell you what's been kind of going on. For So for the past few days, I've been MIA because we had family come and visit us. And it was wonderful to get to see uh, my aunt, which is my dad's sister on his side. So we had... Uh, fun enjoying talking and visiting i did get some video of her opening up her gifts that she finally got to open um if y'all could just send good vibes and prayers for her she is not in pain but she is needing to go to the dentist and we're praying that we get her a cancellation and she can get in earlier than um what the dentist has scheduled before so she is having some tooth issues and has a broken tooth so um if you'll just send good vibes and prayers and just hoping and praying that we can get her in earlier than september is which they said that they could get her in earliest and i just think she should be taught priority you know because, man, a tooth ache is not fun at all. So, tomorrow, we're going into the city and getting my windshield fixed on my car. And hopefully getting to see the new Barbie movie. We'll just see how it goes. But I will check up and we'll see you tomorrow in another vlog. So back to the Barbie movie. The Barbie movie was rated PG-13 and it definitely needed that rating. And man, if I were you, <laughs> I wouldn't let probably younger than a teenager, 13. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take them. I don't even know if I would take a teenager. It's just, 
I'm gonna say it was kind of silly. I liked the Mar Margot Robbie's character. I think she did a good job. She was definitely Barbie. But the storyline was just goofy. It was. America for, for what Ferrara. is her name? She did a good job. But even her character, the storyline with her daughter was just odd. Yeah, I'm sure they do, but I don't know. I'd like to know what other people think about it. If they were as disappointed as we were, and I visited with my sister on the phone, she took her granddaughter thinking the same thing I did. I thought we were gonna be entertained with the old classic Barbie, fun, um, neat little accessory type things. And they were gonna go to the real world and see what it's like and go back to Barbie land. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I just thought it would be much more, I don't know. I'm more excited about the Willy Wonka movie. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It does. We, we are a movie family. We enjoy movies. I'm picky about what movies we see. <laughs> you know, ours are either Disney or Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible is great. A little bit too much um, computer generated stuff, but, but it was good. It had a good, good storyline. Indiana Jones was good. Some people hated it. I, I liked it. It was fun. Yeah, I think it was going to be I do too. I don't know. I just was like, wow. Anyway, just a review of the Barbie movie. Let us know what you think. Well, everybody's at the dinner table. It's 6.30 in the evening. 7 o'clock. Oh, already 7 o'clock. My goodness. So... Oreo makes a strange sound every once in a while. Anyway, we're out here. We got Suzanne's windshield repaired. We did. She has had a crack in it for nearly five years. Yeah. And so we got a new windshield and it cost $339, which I was thinking it was going to be more like six or 700. So we'll take that. And we were going to go to a peddler show, which is a craft show, and we decided not to because My her starter, her funny. car starter was acting up. So we came on home, and then when we got home and my husband started the car, it wouldn't start. So I'm glad we didn't go anywhere else. Mm -hmm. But we brought food home. We had Kane's chicken. John had a firehouse sub. And... We took a little nap because we got up at 5.45 this morning. And uh, then we watched Swagger. We've been doing some of the Apple. Um, so we've done Swagger just two seasons. We're in the middle of the second season. We've done Foundation, which I have no opinion on. I don't care for it, but I will watch it. It's just not my cup of tea. I think it's odd. Stupid. And I don't like some of it. I would. I wanted to turn it off on one of those episodes. And we've watched the one about Hurricane Katrina. We're watching uh, the hijack, and that's kind of what we've been into lately, right? Yeah. So I'm on a new book. Suzanne got me Dominique Sashi's. Sashi, her book about her part of her life. I really enjoy her YouTube channel. She's a, she was a newscaster in Houston and uh, she's gone through a lot of things and she just lost her mother. She's been through a lot. So I just thought her book would be, huh? Her mother passed away. So I've only read one book this year, and I'm on this one. And I've read one book too, one that I really don't want to read. <laughs> I'd rather read Pineapple Street that was recommended from a YouTuber. Is it good? 
the personality of it is good. The storyline of it, I can't really get to where they're getting to. It's just about high society people in New York. Hmm. But anyway, it is 80 degrees today was the high. This is our current scenery. It's just uh, it hasn't gotten any higher than 83 today. It's really, really pretty, really cool. We're going to go walking a little bit. We had to come out and feed the zoo. <laughs> and so we decided to come out and sit for a little bit. Maybe read a little bit, and then we'll go in and maybe watch some more Apple TV. But everything's looking really pretty. My lantana is beginning to grow. Those are those red-orange plants that attract butterflies. I do have a hummingbird. Uh, it is a rufus, and I can hear it, and I can see it, but he's not feeding right now. They are that red-orange color. Really, really pretty. I hear him. So let's take some close-ups of some of the pretty flowers. Geraniums are doing really well. They're really gorgeous. Hi, Oreo. What are you up to, huh? What you doing? And that geranium plant's doing really well. The flowers are really pretty. They're a different color. Strange little bug landed. And this is another red geranium. It hasn't done real, as well, but it's still blooming and got lots of buds on it. So it's gonna, it's gonna be pretty, pretty soon. And the ferns are doing fine. This one is gorgeous. Really, really pretty. I'm going to plant some new day lilies. Hi, Gus. What is Gus Gus up to? What are you doing, Gus? Are you resting? But I'm gonna plant some new day lilies in the places where the oriental lilies got demolished. And then this one is doing real well, this geranium. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Sometimes she just talks as if she was a human. And then this plant is doing all right. Not great, but it's okay. And then some of my roses are starting to bloom again. And then Suzanne's giant marigold has three blooms on it. It's looking pretty. So I put some seven dust on my roses. We've had some grasshoppers and I'm trying to keep them from tearing everything up. Yep. So all the dudes are kind of chilling out right now. I think they're enjoying the cool weather better than the hot weather. Lantana is really, really beautiful. It's supposed to attract butterflies. And uh, I think it looks really nice. It's grown quite a bit, so I think it's going to do okay. Don't know if it will come back, but I hope that it will. Anyway, we haven't really walked around the yard. I guess we could do that. I haven't walked around the yard much this year because it has rained so much. Every time I think I'm going to walk around the yard, <laughs> it rains. Some more lantana. So pretty. Some of the other animals come over here and find places to hide, I think. I really don't know what they do. Well, hello. What are you up to? Is that Disney or is that Tinkerbell? Yeah, here's what they do. They flatten my daylilies. They lay on them. So there are my flattened daylilies. What you doing over there, huh? What are you doing? 
What are you doing? Mama came over to see what you're doing too. Yeah. Yeah. Silly girl. Silly, silly girl. Yeah, silly girl. Yep, I just like to walk around the yard, see what's going on. Anyway, the uh, mums are great. Here's one over here doing something. Don't know what. They have their own Disney World. They have their own little Epcot, and they don't even know it. What you doing, Tinkerbell? What are you doing? And the daylilies over here were blooming. They're kind of down now. This area is not super pretty because it hasn't grown up as much. But some of the daylilies are blooming. They're always really pretty. These plants that I cut down last year are coming back. Uh, these fly trap plants is what I call them. It needs trimming already, so when I come back from helping Suzanne, I'll be out here trimming. They flatten this plant. This is my sedum, and they, they ruin it, but not this other one. This is a sedum as well, and it's doing okay. This is my new rose bush. It hasn't had much of a chance to do anything, but it will. It will. And, of course, these are uh, highly established daylilies. They've been here for several years, and they are just gorgeous. Really, really pretty. This is getting ready to bloom. Crepe myrtle. My crepe myrtles are more like trees, but they will be in bloom soon. I usually bloom towards the 1st of August. More day lilies. And these pretty, pretty colors. These uh, holly bushes nearly, we nearly lost them. There were holly bushes all along here. No more. We had to dig them up because the ice storm got them. Ooh, here's a pretty day lily right there. Isn't that pretty? Wow. But anyway, these uh, holly bushes are coming back out. We'll see what they do. I don't know if I can keep them or not, but we'll try. And I am so disappointed that I'm losing my lavender. I don't think the lavender is going to make it. It does not like Texas at all. So we may have to put another rose bush here. These are just wild rose bushes. They kind of do their thing. I just let them do their thing. More daylilies that are going to be blooming soon. And this is a bigger um, great myrtle. Super pretty daylilies. So I have discovered that day lilies are the ones that do the, the best in my yard. So we're just going to go with it and just keep planting day lilies and let them take over. This is a crepe myrtle. It bloomed early in spring with white blossoms. It also attracts butterflies and hummingbirds, things like that. These ferns, low ferns have been here. My Nandina came back out. I think it, earlier in the summer I showed where the Nandina looked like it was dying. Well, now it's, it's back, but I'm gonna keep it low because I have a tree going over here. trap over here in the corner. Hopefully it will not catch anything. More Nandina. Can't remember 
sure what these are called. I knew it one time. I'm not real good at remembering plant names. I lost um, this plant. But it's coming out on one side, so I'm going to have to decide what to do about it next year. Here's another sedum. It's getting rid of blue. More daylilies. And my giant rose bush, which has been very, very happy this year. The rain really made it grow. In fact, look how much space it takes up. It is giant sized. And this tree, I don't know what it is, but I've just let it go. The neighbors are probably not happy about it, but it's got pretty leaves, so I've just kind of let it do its thing. And a line of daylilies over here. I have daylilies around my, we had a tree stump there, and we just put a little bird fountain, which needs to be emptied, it's gross. more nandina more ground cover and this tree is just massive it's just gone completely berserk i can walk under it though i keep it low enough that i can walk under it this is where the monarch butterflies like to stay i hope they will be here this year we lost a lot of bushes back in this corner from the ice storm from two years ago. And, uh, yeah. Lost bushes here, and the ground cover has taken over here, which is fine with me. Which takes us back to my deck. We have the wild grass. I'm not quite sure what kind of grass this is called. It's kind of a pain, but I keep it. This I thought was going to die, but it has come back out fairly well. It's really pretty. It's just got a lot of stickers on it, and it needs to be trimmed as well. The birds have eaten all of their food. I'm going to have to put out some new bird food pretty soon, which takes me back around to our... Deck. And my foxtail fern seems to be doing okay. Which takes me right back to where Suzanne is sitting. And I still hear the hummingbird. I can hear it. So right now I am sitting outside in the evening enjoying this beautiful scenery of my mother's backyard. I just always enjoy coming home during the summer, enjoying this sanctuary and just the environment and just the stillness and quietness at the times we get to have it when our neighbors aren't noisy. But today is a good day and it's cool and neighbors aren't there and we are enjoying having a quiet evening sitting outside and reading my mom's doing a video also on her side she's talking about her backyard and her beautiful flowers but i'm just enjoying this evening reading the rest of my professional development i'm not really getting into the books this year the books have been kind of a dud I don't know. I'm just I'm such an old school, naive. I just don't think in the way these people want us to think and teach and do. I'm more of a way of let's learn the classical artists and learn how their brush strokes made a difference in the art world and um, less about the modernism and abstractness of what's today's art. It's just ridiculous. The things I see, I mean, come on now. A banana peel that's been put on the wall in the New York, it's, it's, it's vision, it's just, um, or exhibit. 
and you just kind of go, really? You uh, really teaching this to kids? That being art? I mean, that's kind of trashy in my thinking. I don't think it's funny. Um, because back when I had taught at my other school, we had a student that kind of, the wall was kind of made of plaster and you could rub a pencil or any kind of wooden pencil and get it to stick to the wall. And they were, I guess they were kind of copying that as it was trending at that time. But I just, I have a really, truly hard time accepting the art these days of what kids think is funny and what I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm a classic artist. I like all the Van Gogh and the Renoir and the Picasso and the, I mean, not to say Picasso was kind of what we're dealing with today's art, but I think it's just important for kids to know that, you know, you teach art and you want them to understand where it came from. Because they've got to have a, a, a base to go from. And once they build up that base, okay, we can go to art21pbs.org. And we can learn about the 21st century artists. And that's fine. Not all art teachers have to agree with the way I teach. I just teach differently. Um, I grew up in a world of Disney, so I'm a very Disney person, and I just think, you know, high school kids love Disney too, and they love to learn how to draw the Disney characters, because that's what I help them do sometimes, so I know the want and the need, and the, I know they want to learn to draw those characters, because they still do, so what's not to say that they want to learn a classic artist so I just think that's more important than what they're trying to push us to want to do more modern and I mean this book is great about wanting to do um, brainstorming and concept maps and trying to get to their main idea so I think that's a great idea in their book I did, however, find something that I liked, and I may even let the kids do this in their portfolio, but it was a concept map, but it had their name as an example. I thought this was a very cute example, and I thought, what a cute idea to do on their portfolio, but I am going to be trying to do something different with them this year, and trying to have them cover the entire portfolio with color, but I thought, well, that'd be cute to do as well if they wanted to do words. So, Mom and I are in the process, <laughs> mostly her, yeah. cleaning out her kitchen paraphernalia because she has to make room for this casserole dish that is so big that it does not fit into any of her drawers or cabinets. And it is a, what brand? Uh, it's, it's cornware. It's cornware. Cornflour. Cornware. I think cornflour. it's called cornflour. But she has several pieces over here that are the same as that one. And you can tell that they're much smaller than the one I'm showing you. And and I want I have a big collection and I want to get them where they're all together so I know what I've got. Because they're in various places in the kitchen and I don't even know what I've got. So if I could get them all in one spot... Mm -hmm. And possibly I could use them more. And as we're vacuuming inside each cabinet, I'm hearing dust just getting vacuumed up into the Dyson vacuum cleaner that she uses. Yeah. It's just great suction. Because we had a moth infestation and they're everywhere. I thought I got all oh, these are so pretty. Those are I pretty. have got to get these out and use them. Yep. So they're going to go in a spot. You know those fashion plates that we got at an antique yes. store? Yes. I need to use those yep. and decorate. Yeah. 
But that's what we are up to right here, right now at 1234. Because we're getting ready for, did I say we're getting ready for a garage sale? No, we, I didn't even say that. Or did I say that? I can't remember what I said. Iowa City. Yes, I think I said we're cleaning out because we're getting ready for a And sale. look, here's some more special little plates. Remember I got these at an antique store. Oh, those They're are just pretty. so adorable and I don't use them because I can't get to them. I know. So I want all my stuff in one place yeah. so I can use them. Yeah. Because I will use them because I just love little plates. Look at that. She has some really good kitchen pieces, nothing to the fancy and classiness that I have. Mine's kind of all over the place because I'm still in the process of trying to figure out what exactly I want. I mean, I do have some pieces, but it's just not to the extent of decor I want just yet. The pink, absolutely. And I will show you those when we go. We're going to do this at your house too, aren't we? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So, we are sweating. <laughs> we have the fan going over here. It's a really good fan. Yeah. Feels very good right now. And I think, yeah. I'm not so sure, that I don't want to just give her my, my Coke stuff. I'm not a Coke person. And I don't. My decor is so different. And I I'm kind of. Give her my Coke stuff and she can put it on her little planet. I'm kind of going more Disney. And. I just, I, I would like to have Disney, Disney wear. So I'm in the process of collecting. I don't know where this came from. I got a hand towel at Walmart that has new on it. I don't know, I heard it fall off something. I think it all it went on a thing that I don't have anymore. So it won't come off. You know, this. Yeah. The straw holder, and I think she's got one of these. Sugar, you got one of those. Toothpick holder, I actually use this. I just, I don't know. I don't know if I want it out. I don't know. I don't know. It would be very cute. Where would I put it? I don't know. <laughs> I got a little apple timer, and then these cards that I bought. These are some vintage Coke bottles. Yeah. I don't know if they're all vintage. Maybe I shouldn't get rid of them. I don't know. It'd be great to put straws in, but I, I don't think I'd ever put sugar. I could put Splenda. You could. I don't know. We'll see. That's a lot of Starbucks bits there. Do you, can you use these for anything? I was going to use them for a project. I don't really have my cup filled, you know, to the rim that I would need. I know. And it's only a stir for, well, it's only for these. Yeah. Which we use them. But we do. Not that. Only have, is that it? Yes, it does. One, two, three, four. And these. And we'll get back in this out. Good morning, friends, and welcome to another vlog. Well, it has come to the time of, <laughs> well, what we look forward to, my mother and I, but. On the other half of it, I start back to school. I don't need that. I'm leaving it at home. I want to put it in a drawer. Okay. 
But uh, anyway, as I was saying, uh, this is the weed that my mom comes and helps me <clears throat> at school and at my house to get me settled back in. And as you can tell behind me, oh my Lord have mercy. Uh, every year, this is the way the car looks. I bring everything but the kitchen stick at home, but I can say on the witness side, not all of this was mine at first. This is what <laughs> family has given me, but that's okay. I can use it at my house and it will be used and uh, not wasted. So I'm, I'm thankful and blessed to have things passed down to me. I'm just like, oh, another summer, another year of bringing more than I thought I had. So, but I need y'all to pray with me and send good vibes. My mother has done something to her back. We don't know what, but she is suffering. So, this is going to be interesting because... It's just lots of unloading and loading and hit lifting and we just need to pray that everything gets better. You want me to hold it? Oh no. But I am dying of humidity. It is hotter than snot. This is what I hate about starting schools so early. Is the fact that it is hot. It is the middle of summer. Why are we starting school so early? I mean, I know and understand that we're going to get a lot of breaks during the months, but still, why do we have to start so flipping early? I've never understood that. But anyways, we are about to leave. We usually stop and run errands and get what we need for my house but got my water and my stanley cup but i'm dying it's hot it's very hot but here we go another year i can't believe it We shall see how this year goes. I'm hoping better than last year's because last year's was heck. But yes, that's what we are up to today. So we will catch you on the flip side. Um, I need to run some errands. So um, I'll keep you up to date throughout the day of what we are doing. So I will see y'all a little bit later. Bye. Okay, everybody, welcome to a new, fresh school year once again. I just finished my room for the first time ever in years. I have finished early and setting up my entire classroom. And I'm just like overwhelmed at the fact that I got this all done in about two days. So, this is the setup this year of my room. I'm thinking I'm really going to like it. And I'm thinking this year for my crown button station, I'm either going to put it over here where the Walt Disney is, where the trash is, or I'm going to put it over here by the turn in area and pencil and bad pencil area. But here is my sink, painting area. Over here is new. Um, instead of kids using Chromebooks and phones, I want to have a station of source material that they can use. If they get done early, here's some projects that they can start. Um, some sketchbooks I'm going to give away this year if they need some. I'm going to ask for everybody to have a sketchbook. Um, magazines that can be torn and collaged with. Uh, source material, all different kinds of books. I just ask that nobody writes in them. And 
leftover portfolios from last year that I'm keeping of students' work in case they want to come and grab theirs for their Art 2 class. And if I have them in Art 2, awesome. But here is the other half of my classroom. So what I did this year is I kind of set up my classroom to look very much like a college readiness class. And you're probably wondering, well, what do all these uh, sticky note colors mean? So um, my kids are, it's really hard. Kids these days, they move their chairs and you're just like, why do you move your chair? No. So color coding goes with the color on the table. So if it's not in the right color area, that's not where the chair goes. So we have green, we have blue, turquoise, purple, salmon colored, orange, and yellow, plus buckets color coded as well that has all their goods, markers, and colored pencils. And then also near this year, I've made an area for people that behave badly. I have done teacher chairs that says do not move, so they better not move those chairs because they're roly. And roly chairs can be a problem, <laughs> especially in the high school world. Can't even imagine the middle school area. But here is my desk area. Disney paraphernalia, decor on top of the cabinets. And my mother made portfolios for our one. I made to do a little bit more, but she duct taped them and stapled them on both sides, three each, folded to make everything even. And yeah. A new school year. Here we go once again. Mom yes, mom Stuff did all the, the work, stuffed the tubs, markers, etc. And the tables and chairs. Yes, and also put pencil sharpener jar so that they can sharpen their pencils. Yeah, this is what it's going to be like this year. I think it will be great. I think it will be awesome. It just looks more put together than it's ever been. I think. And then, even my closet looks even cleaner, I think, and more put together. And it doesn't look as thrown. I haven't even been back here. I, don't know I really know. worked on it. So I have my paper, pictures, past projects, yearbook, quilling, weaving, magazine printmaking, magazine strips, different things. Filing cabinet. And this was Storage. my paper cutter when I was an art teacher. <laughs> yep. It's little, but it was a good one. And a passed down paper cutter from my mom and a passed down cricket thing that I'm wondering if I'm ever like gonna mess with. But, yeah. but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. But yeah. I like it this year. I think it will be great. Okay, everybody. This is a July 28th at 1028. We just got yes, Burger King. I know. We got tater pots, 
and a burrito and a egg and cheese sausage biscuit. And we are off to Metroplex and going to run some errands. And mom has helped me the entire week at school. We have had a blast today, or not today, but the whole week. Today we're just blue and sad. Just to it go back to it didn't hit me until it didn't hit me till this morning when mom came out of my room and started crying. I was like, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Burst of tears just came over my face. Yes. Well, we just have fun together. We do. I told her this morning she's been my little buddy since she was born. And that just broke, and I just, broke my you know, heart. And I have one child. <laughs> And we've just always been, she's always been with me. I took her everywhere. I never left her with babysitters except my folks. My parents would sit with her when I was teaching in, you know, I had to do in service. That's all. That's, and when we went out to dinner or something, we took her with us. We didn't leave her with the babysitter. I wanted a child. I didn't want a child to have to leave with a babysitter. I'm just a different breed. I wanted her with us. I didn't need a long time with my hubby. I don't need that. I, I, I like family things. I do too. So, that's just the way I roll. So, we're going to go to, I believe, two estate sales. There's three, three, but I'm kind of confused on one of the addresses, so it may be, end up being two, but we'll, we'll see. We shall see. But good morning, everybody. Today is Friday. And we did not vlog any of what we did, and we were going to. We were so it's bad. Just, Monday and Tuesday, we cleaned house. She went through closets, drawers. Just I'll do a whole new tour. Except I'm a little embarrassed by my office right now. It's got all of the garage sale items we're going to have on August 12th. So it's kind of in a mess. So maybe I can put those in my car and have a clean office and then I can do an updated house tour. It's been a while since I've done an apartment tour. Nothing's really hugely changed, but I can go through. If you haven't seen that video and do a new updated one, because I have added a few things and have changed some items. So, look for that. Maybe I can do a get ready with me school morning routine. Who knows? Maybe I'll be in the mood. I'm going to be better this year. I've told my mom. I said I'm going to be in better mode. I just gotta, you know, suck it up. <laughs> it's just. I see. Up, exactly. I'm just going to try to be happier. I'm going to take each day with the grain of salt. Just here we go. You know? I'm going to try to enjoy kids more. I'm going to try to find positivity in them. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun. I wish I could just stay home and be a stay-at-home person. Yep. But I think what I'm going to do right now is enjoy some breakfast. Well, what I was going to say, I wanted to be a stay-at-home person. And it's just not possible in the, in the day and time that we live in. If you want to do anything, Unless your husband is a heart surgeon and makes tons of money. Um, Good luck. What? 
you don't, that's a woman has to work. And we were in education, and you know where that is. You don't make a whole lot. So both of us had to work to do anything. And so I would get up in the morning, get dressed, and walk through Narnia's door. You know, I had to, I did a complete 360 flip. I was one person walking to the school, and as soon as I walked through that door, my head, brain, mind, heart, soul said, this is your job. You were hired to do this. Do it well. And, and which we did. I walked in, but on my never have had much of a smile. I can't help it. So I put on the best smile I could and greeted my kids and here we And then I walked out the door and I thought, can I run any faster to get to my car? <laughs> you know, I was ready to go home. That's, that's everybody. I was tired. I'd had about enough and uh, you need that refresh and then you get up and you do it again. But that's just any, you know, it's just life. So, let's enjoy breakfast. We'll see you later. Are you living in an upside down world? <laughs> oh, you're so funny. You are so funny. This is a Rufus hummingbird. It has discovered the feeder. Beautiful. And then my little friends have come out and they are enjoying their supper, I guess. Oreo has already finished her supper and she's washing her face, getting all cleaned up. Hello, my Oreo. Hello, my girl. Yep, you have to get all cleaned up, don't ya? And little Disney coming over. They are a pair and a half. They are a pair. Tinkerbell, Gus Gus, and Raja.